just another little job I've got to do for today. Uh, it's a bit windy, a bit wet, but well, it's got to be done. We appear to have a leak in the roof. To be honest with you, this roof's always give us problems. There's no broken tiles up there, so it's not the tiles. The flash at the top is not the flash. So the main thing is it's a piece of like metal that goes down the side from the fascia to the tiles. <coughs> and it must agree with it because it's a little bit short. So what I'll do is I'll take it up and show you. Alright, this little bit of flash in here. This is what we, well, the main thing the problem is. And to be honest with you, I tend to agree with it now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take all this off and put two brand new ones on there. We purchased. We purchased them two new ones today, which should come to about here. So, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it should come from the edge here, should come right over. But this, this here is a nightmare. Here we get your water. Water could go under there, under and drip in. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to jump up and take all this off. So let me get myself safe. Let me get my stuff up on the roof and I'll come back to you. Well, I'm just up here on the roof. You have to excuse me because um, <coughs> it's blowing the gale up here. In all of fairness, the roof's not that high, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn around and show you this. This is what, where we think the problem's happening with the, the leaks. This is where we think the water, yeah, well, you can actually see the water. If you look in there, you can see the water going down. I'm running right down to the corner. <coughs> so what's going to happen now? Let's start. See these all shots with these sounds. Absolutely knackered. So what I'm going to be doing... Right, this is the uh, new one that we're going to be putting on. But I'll be honest with you, it's it's windy as hell up here, and uh, this metal starts to slide on the roof. I'm going to put this on, and then I'll come back to you. All right, I'll see you all soon. I'm just here up the ladder. Um, I've just put this metal. Like, well, what we have is dry vase in the UK. This is like a metal. Trim. I've never used it before, so I don't know whether to put it on right or whether to put it on wrong. But I'm almost certain there must be some type of clips that you get for the opposite side. And I've done. I've just put down the light down. But I'm almost certain there should be some type of um, some type of clips that hold this down. But the thing is, it's keeping the rain out, which I'm happy with. So I'm going to go down, I'm going to pin that bottom end in there with a the screw and I'm going to re-pin this one where it's bumping up because why well, it's bumping up, I don't know but I'm going to redo that one and I'm going to do that bottom one and then that should be it and I'm just going to be honest with you, I don't need to be able to wear that now the wind is really bad up here so it's here, uh, just it's here uh, peeing it down in the bucket full so, as I say, we're just going to fix that one that's bumping up there, put one in the end, fix it in the end, and so long as that keeps the rain up then, it keeps it nice and dry, and then that's the leak sorted. I'll be happy with that then. Then, I've also got to put this back, be flashing, so I'm going to have to dry all this inside, and then glue this, uh, glue this, I'll get the heat gun on it, and put this back down, plus, so let's put a bit of blackjack on this wall at the back here to make them bond together. So yeah, that's what I'm up to. There you go, you can just see the silver lip along the edge. So that's on now. I'll 
bent on the end there for the time being, so it's sending any water into the gutter. Oops. There you go. Yeah, as I say, I've bent on the ends, any water coming off that, and I'll just go straight into the gutter. Do see how it goes now? Alright, again, thank you all for watching. And if you could, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Oh, I'm going to start doing the stairs next. These stairs, these are 40 mil thick, the treads. So I've got no wood of 40. I've only got I've got one piece of 45 mil thick, which is too too far too thick. So what I'm going to do. I've got some uh, anti military ammunition boxes, big long ones, very thick, like very nice pine and already really good condition, solid condition. And they're 20 mil thick. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to make steps and double them up. Yeah, Years of wear. It's absolutely gone. If you look at the back, you can see that. And if you look on the inside, it's still quite solid. If I could have got them out, it would have been ideal. I could have just turned them around the opposite way and just pulled them forward a touch. That would have been the best thing to do. But never mind. It is what it is. What we've got to do now is I've just got to clean these out. And see, the, if you look at that this, that's going to touch, so all I have to do is put a little noggin of wood underneath. But I'll have to get the nails out as well, there's some nails in there. And I've got some on the other side also. But as I was saying, there, there's the steps. This one here is the worst. When you step off there, that's more or less underneath. So you're not able to step on it. So it's quite dangerous, I've nearly come down it a few times and then you have the same with this one. So you've got to come down the stairs backwards, which you shouldn't have to be doing that. So I'll just crack on with this, get these um, boards, I'll just take you down and show you what boards I'm going to be using. Now these steps here are 40 mil thick. And I've got these here, which these are 20 mil thick. So we double them up. You've got your 40 mil. Then I'll screw them together. And they are good solid wood then. Then I'll treat them. And I'll also put a, like a batten underneath where the step is, where they step onto, just to give it that bit more support.
I just have to take that mask off. Uh, yeah, so that's the step I've done. It's got to be cleaned up yet, and you know, they've got to be screwed together. I was going to glue them, but I think just put on a few screws will be fine, and I'll screw them from the other side then. Uh, I'll also, I've got some, um, oh, like the glue foam, you pour it down, it just foams up. Anyway, I'll put that in the sides as well to make them more compact. But yeah, that's the steps. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to do a, a, a walk test, see what it's like to walk on, and see if it's joined you with the others. <sighs> see if it's any better. Oh yeah, that feels well better. Oh yeah. <coughs> yeah, so that's that's basically the width the steps the steps should be coming out at. But if you look at this one, it's totally done. So I'm gonna get, jump on this one now, get this one done, and when I've done that one, then I'll glue them all in and I'll screw them all in then. That should be fine. So get on with this one.
Right, that's all the step nearly done. We have to have a break from this. So we'll find out how to breathe in this. And we're going to have a nice cup of coffee. So, yes, yeah, so that's the two steps now. I've just got to do that top on there. Because these are the main, the main ones that are really unsafe. But I've just been saying to Lorraine then, they must have had tiny feet back in the day. Because these treads, as you come down off them, under the regulations today, that they're well too small. So, if I bring that step out to here, and it comes down straight, I'll just show you. Walking up them is fine, but as you're walking down them, see that one's fine because half of the step's missing, but there you've got to come down sideways. You can't walk down because your feet, only the heel of your feet is on the step. And the same here. The heel of your feet. Yeah, heel of your feet again. So when you come down, we have to come down sideways like that. But when that was missing, and the PC was missing in here, it was even worse. So now that's made it a lot more safer, to be honest with you. So, I'm going to go and find some more timber and do this other one. Alright, here we go. Here's just a cheap fix out of old scrap wood for the uh, stair treads. Didn't want really to spend the money on it because um, the stairs are okay, it's just the treads have been worn away and just. I think it's when they've been bringing every material down here, it's just been bashing the edges and fences on them in. But what I've done, as I said earlier, I've used old, um, you see there, old army bullet cases. There's one down there. And what I've done is I've doubled them up, screwed them together, and I screwed them in on the, on the stairs there on the edge. But I did have a problem with the chops tread. 
a top tread. I couldn't get my saw in there to take a top bit off the top so that the two would fit in. And I didn't want to start cutting, but well, I, I can't cut the bottom because that would have brought my tread lower down. So I've had to leave that. That's what I've done is I've put it in, screwed it all in, and I've put a wedge underneath there just to take any bounce out the centre of the step. <clears throat> and this one's absolutely solid, so that should take the spring out of that as well. But yeah, all I need now is just something to uh, give them a coat or something just to protect them. Give them a fair few more years out of them. As I say, yeah. It's cost nothing. Just bits of material they had left. And now I'm just going to start on getting this um, false flooring. It'll make the house feel a bit warmer because we won't have the cold and moist air coming up. And um, it's somewhere to put the hoovers. Right, so I'm going to crack on then. And see you all in a bit.